This is This is Cougar Post Game Live. Coverage of BYU Women's Basketball is brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. By Wilner and O'Reilly, immigration solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. Once again, here's Jason Shepard. Welcome back to the Marriott Center. BYU gets the win, and it wasn't even close. From the tip, Cougars dominated Westminster tonight. BYU gets the victory. 91-49. to And as I mentioned, really from the tip, BYU had their way. The first quarter alone will put this game into perspective for you. 33-2. to That's how the first quarter ended for the BYU Cougars. After that, Westminster got into a bit of a rhythm, and a lot of that came by hitting some threes. Uh, The second quarter, much more competitive. It was 23-20 in favor of BYU. The third quarter, dead even. Both teams scored 17. BYU pulled away, outscoring Westminster by 10 in quarter number four, 19-9. BYU shot 51% for the game. Westminster just 23. 36% from three for the Cougars. 43% for the Griffins. So from uh, at least deep, Westminster had a much better day from beyond the arc. They were 6 of 14, whereas BYU was 9 of 25 from the free throw line. 89% for the Griffins. They were 16 of 18. BYU 17 of 22 for 77%. Turnovers... 21 for Westminster, 19 for BYU. And that's probably one of the things we'll talk to Coach Whiting about. When you can win going away and still have things to work on, that is a coach's dream. And I'm sure one of the things that she'll want to touch on and and work with the players is cutting certainly cutting down those turnovers. Uh, But again, it's exhibition. It's it's the first game of the season. So, uh, you know, some of those things are to be expected. Uh, Points off of turnovers. BYU, 28 points off of the 21 turnovers. Westminster, 13 points off of BYU's 19 turnovers. Rebounds, Cougars dominated 53-26. to 26. Lauren Gustin with 15 of those 28, or excuse me, 23 rebounds. Bench points, BYU in favor, 30-16. to 16. Points in the paint, 42-10. to 10. Fast break points, BYU led that 17-2. to 2. Both teams with six blocks. Cougars had two more steals. They had 12. Westminster had 10. BYU with 22 assists, which is a fantastic number for BYU. 11 assists for Westminster. The Cougars led the entire way. The game was, well, the game was tied for 13 seconds. BYU led for 39-47, which is essentially the entire game, and they never really looked back. And again, getting the victory and there's a little bit of discrepancy on what the final score was because there may have been a three or a, a two that was counted as a three. Right now, the score is showing 92-48 as a final score. We'll see if that changes at all. I know that they were looking at, at a possible discrepancy uh, during the course of play, and it was something that they were going to try and figure out either at halftime uh, or after the game to try and correct the score if it needed to be that way. Leading scores for the BYU Cougars, Lauren Gustin leading all scores with 29 points and 15 rebounds. She also had one assist. Emma Calvert with 13 points to go along with four rebounds and an assist. Lauren Davenport also in double figures, 10 points in her debut to go along with four rebounds and four assists. Really good debut for a lot of the new players, and there are seven new players on this roster, Davenport being one of them. Uh, Kaylee Woolston, a freshman, 13 points, five rebounds, four assists. Amari Whiting, 10 points, four rebounds, one assist. You look at the freshmen that, that came into this ball game and the way they played today, um, was was certainly a bright spot in, in a game that was f- filled with bright spots, certainly. Uh, Aliyah Mataval with three points. Marina Mata, six points. Eight points for Rose Bubakar. And BYU gets the victory over Westminster, 
to 48. We will take a break. We'll come back and uh, hope to have a player. There is a mandatory 10-minute cooling off period before we can have anybody come over and do any media. So we will take a break. When we come back, hope to have uh, one of the players joining us, and then we'll obviously hear from the head coach of the Cougars, Amber Whiting, before we wrap things up from the Marriott Center. Don't forget, it's a doubleheader here at, uh, at the Marriott Center tonight. The men also in action, exhibition play. And they will get underway at 7 o'clock. Obviously, Greg Rubel and Mark Durant will have the call for you. No pregame show. Uh, it will be streamed on uh, uh, streamed only. So that will start at 7 o'clock, and they'll get you ready for uh, BYU men's basketball's exhibition. I'll join you at halftime and postgame with some scores uh, from elsewhere in college basketball and in the NBA, plus something else that we're following today. Big night uh, for women's soccer, the number two seed and seventh-ranked BYU Cougars uh, in uh, Texas, the Big 12 women's soccer tournament going on right now, and BYU at 6 p.m. Mountain Time will be taking on UCF on Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. That is certainly something we will be following throughout the night. Take a break. 92-48. Cougars get the win in exhibition, in an exhibition matchup with Westminster. We'll uh, have more Cougar Post Game Live next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's more Cougar Post Game Live on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Welcome back to the Marriott Center. Jason Shepard with you. BYU gets the win in convincing fashion over Westminster. 92-48 is the final score. And uh, we mentioned throughout the broadcast that BYU with seven new players on the roster. And one of those new players is joining me here courtside. Lauren Davenport joining me here. First and foremost, congratulations on the win. I know it's just exhibition, but it's always good to start out with a victory, right? Yes, of course. Thank you. So not only did you guys get the win, and it was really never in doubt, but you had a really good debut for for your new team. Just take me through kind of leading up to your first game and, and then how it all played out for you tonight. Right. No, um, obviously coming in as a first game, I was a little bit stressed out just because it's a new school or whatever. But um, I think my team really had a big impact impact on me performing-wise. They always have my back. You know, our assist ratio was really, really good today. Like, um, I just couldn't be more proud of my team right now. So. Well, and you finished in double figures with 10, but is as impressive, maybe even more, is the four rebounds and the four assists. And you talked about the assists. I think you guys finished with 22 assists. Mm-hmm. And as a team, it, it really did feel like, and I know Coach, uh, Coach Whiting had mentioned, she, one of the things she wanted to see you guys do in this game was – to, to run the offense, and it really right. felt like you guys were doing a great job of that really from the get-go. Right. No, yeah, and one person I want to point out is Smiler. I remember I was sitting on the bench at the end of the game, and she had zero points but, like, seven assists. And I I just, like, kudos to her. Like, our assist ratio, like I said, was just crazy, and I was super proud of our first game. Well, and defensively, look, there was – it, it came in the last minute of the first quarter. I thought there was a legit chance you were going to hold them without a point in the first quarter. They they get the two, yeah. but you guys came out, and not just you guys were not just on fire offensively, but I thought the defense was just as impressive right from the get-go. No, yeah, and something that we need to work on is defense in the second half. I think that we, even the second quarter, like we let down. Like our defense needs to be what we did in the first quarter. So if we could hold that for four quarters, like I think we have a really good chance of like – showing people what we can do this year so 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 you're not obviously a freshman you came from from a different school you came from boston university so but you are you're part of of a of a large group of of players who are trying to learn everything that's that's going on here what what do you want out of this year for you like what does success look like for you this season well, like you said, a lot of new players. I think there's going to be a lot of growing yeah. and a lot of learning curves for us. Um, but I think for us to be successful is genuinely to just play as a team. Um, like I said, like our assist ratio, like keep that going, like hit our shots. Like Kaylee Wilson had a crazy good night tonight. Um, and just win games. Like we just want to win games out here. And coming into the Big 12, I think that's a really big opportunity for us um, to show some people like what we can do with – however many new players we have so it's gonna be a big change well and you but. mentioned the freshman i thought amari did fantastic yeah. it, it, she scored in double figures but defensively i thought she was fantastic right. and you talked about kaylee who looked like she's been a she's a vet and yeah. in watching practice she is so confident in her shot anyway mm-hmm. but even even 
you know, Marina coming in, hit a couple of threes. Right. To be able to see the young players have success like that, that's got to be that's got to be nice for what it means for the team. Right. Well, and we talked about, you know, this year, like, we can't just have a few players. Like, we need to have depth. So, like, for people coming in, like, even including me coming in, like, we need to, you know, be able to perform as, like, a starter would. So I think those guys coming in did a really good job tonight. All right, last question before I let you go. Yep. You mentioned, so you're from Idaho. Yes. So it's not, it's not like you're not familiar with BYU, obviously. Uh, but you just, what was, what went into the decision to come here? Why was BYU the place for you? Um, first and foremost, it's closer to home, which was, I think, a big part for me to be closer to my little brother. Um, secondly, I love Coach Amber. She just does a really good job. She knows how to play me and that was something that I was looking for um and then thirdly I just love the team atmosphere here I love BYU so yeah well it was a fun debut for the team certainly a fun debut for you as well thanks for taking a few minutes and uh regular season starts next week here we go yeah I'm so excited thank you so much for having me you bet there we go that's Lauren Davin we'll take a break when we come back we will hear from the head coach of the Cougars Amber Whiting BYU gets the win 92 48 on the new skin BYU Sports Network Back to Jason Shepard and Cougar Post Game Live on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Welcome back to the Marriott Center. This is Cougar Post Game Live. We'll hear from Amber Whiting coming up in just a moment. She's finished addressing the general media after BYU gets the win, 92-48. to 48. Go over a couple of, uh, of stats of note again. 29 points for Lauren Gustin, another double-double. 29 points and 15 rebounds. And just going over the new players. So we, we just talked with Lauren Davenport. She's not a freshman, but new as a transfer, 10 points. You also had Amari Whiting, 10 points. You had Kaylee Woolston, 13 points. So the, the new players really uh, performed well in their first chance to, uh, to put on the BYU jersey in front of some fans. Head coach Amber Whiting is now making her way to the uh, broadcast location. She's got a big smile on her face. I love when I get to talk with coaches when they have big smiles on their faces. Okay, so let's, let's get right into it. You guys started fast and you never looked back. Take me through this win, because we talked before, and you wanted to make sure that the the, the players were going to run the offense, and they looked like they knew what they were doing. Well, they certainly did. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I mean, credit to them. They took the game plan and executed it perfectly. I feel like the first quarter, obviously, that was a huge – I mean, we came right out of the gates shooting amazing. Uh, defensively, it was awesome, but I we relaxed. We started, like, chilling on some defense cuts and whatnot, so – we're going to dive into film, and we'll go fix some things, but they have to ke- remain, or keep that consistently all four quarters. It can't just be the first quarter, and i got to have a, the whole game. So, I mean, we're happy with yeah. the win, but it's not. I told them, that, like, we don't – I mean, have you heard of the saying, don't drink the Kool-Aid? Yeah. yeah. Don't drink it. We're not anywhere we, where we want to be yet. So. I, I would assume one of the things that you want to talk about is the turnovers. You had 19 turnovers, and uh, – and I, I, it's it's great when you can win in blowout fashion and still have something to work on, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And the turnovers, like – I mean, we, that's one a huge goal of ours every game is to limit our turnovers, and it's no empty possessions. And so when we do that, we come up with empty possessions. They let teams go on runs, and so it's just we have to value the basketball. Lauren Gustin, that is, came out, picked up right where she left she off. killed it. 29 <laughs> points and 15 rebounds, and they had no answer for her down low, just none. And it's a thing where I just told her she only had to play 26 minutes to do that, right? So I – like, I mean, if we can get some games with her just having to only play those minutes, she's still going to be as productive because she can go hard while she's in those minutes. Um, but also it helps prolong her body for this year so it doesn't beat her up so much. Let's talk about a couple of, uh, of your freshmen. I, w- I want to talk about Kaylee and Amari specifically. Had Lauren on, and obviously not a freshman, but one of the newcomers, and she looked great, 10 points and four rebounds, four assists. It was, it was a nice debut for her with, with the freshmen. When it, when it came to Kaylee Woolston, I think the thing that impressed me the most was just how comfortable she looked in her role. And with Amari, even though she scored the 10, I was so impressed with her defense. She was a pest defensively. Yeah, I'm still I only I still in, in limited minutes with her. Like Jeff, I mean, he shut, shuts me down at like around 20. How many she played tonight? Yep, 20. There you go. So, 
he shot I mean he let me when I was putting her in the last time two minutes and so I just I've told her her role this year play your butt off on defense and get us in our offense right take care of the basketball and I feel like she did a really good job kicking it up she knows I like the ball kicked I don't like it dribbled across half court and so she did a good job with that um, and Kaylee had to handle the ball more tonight which Sometimes when you have to handle them all so much, you don't get as many shots. Mm-hmm. But she still came out firing, and I was happy for her. And it's her birthday too. By yes, the way. that's right. Um, and then she, but she with Nani out, it it she stepped up in that role and helped us out. So you know it helps. I mean, at the guard line, losing Ari has been really hard on us, and so doing that, I think it's going to help give us some more depth in different spots that we didn't ex- like think about at first. So. so did did you see enough good things? As, as you get ready for the regular season next week at Montana State, it's coming on Tuesday. Between what you saw in the offseason and what you saw today, are you feeling pretty good heading into this year? Um, yeah. I mean, but you don't – I don't – I don't know you ever feel great. Like, right. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I saw a lot of not so good things, too. So, yeah, the score says differently, but I also see a lot of things that we need to work on. Um, and, I mean, we had some lapses. We had some mistakes. We had some miscommunications. We had, That can't happen, especially in games in the Big 12 and especially with Montana State if we want to go in there and win. All right, Amber, thank you so much. This is uh, this will be a regular occurrence. We'll get you before the game and after the game, and hopefully we're talking about a lot of wins this year. I love it. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, thank Amber. Thank you. There we go. That's the head coach of the BYU Cougars, Amber Whiting. BYU getting the win 92-48. to 48. That is a wrap for tonight's broadcast. Thank you for listening, and a special thanks to everybody back in our BYU radio studios, Terry South, Soraya Ritchie. Great job back in our studios. Thank you to head coach Amber Whiting, as well as Lauren Davenport. Also, appreciate uh, Ari Mackie Williams uh, joining me for our halftime player spotlight. Our next broadcast, as I just mentioned moments ago, is Tuesday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time from Bozeman, Montana, where the Cougars will begin the regular season against Montana State. Until then, my name is Jason Shepard. You've been listening to BYU Women's Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Go Cougars! You have been listening to BYU Women's Basketball. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Coverage has been brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. By Wilner and O'Reilly, immigration solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. By Utah Children's Dental Network, Utah's network of premier pediatric dentists and orthodontists. Learn more at utahcdn.com. Brought to you by Zion's Bank. For 150 years of helping you succeed, Zion's Bank is for you. Also brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug, proud partner of BYU Athletics. BYU Women's Basketball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Shane Reese, Vice President Keith Vorkink, Athletic Director Tom Homo, and Associate Athletic Director of Corporate Sponsorships Casey Stoffer. BYU Women's Basketball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.